welcome to Science Wednesday. Uh, by now you have learned a lot about viruses. We know how they work, the shapes they have, um, how they can jump from animals to human. What do we already know? A bacteria is a one-cell organism. They can cause infections and they can be killed with antibiotics. A virus is not the same as a bacteria because it is not a cell. Antibiotics cannot kill them. But let's now look at ourselves. How do we protect, protect ourselves to viruses, from viruses? So, let's learn a little bit about the immune system. The system we have as a defense from things that come from the outside. And for that, we have invited an external expert guest. She is a doctor in Spain. And, well, we wish you enjoy the video. What is the immune system? Our immune system protects our bodies from diseases. It does so by attacking invaders like parasites, bacteria, viruses and more. In order to function properly, it has to be able to see the difference between invaders' tissue and our own body's tissue. It also recognizes and removes dead body cells or cells that are not working how they are supposed to. Anything that can cause a reaction of the immune system is called an antigen. So antigens can be invaders like viruses or bacteria, but also dead or faulty body cells. White blood cells, also called leukocytes, are on the front line when something invades our bodies. These cells circulate through our body through blood vessels and the lymphatic vessels. White blood cells are constantly on the lookout for invaders and once they find one, they begin to multiply and send signals to other cells to do the same. There are two main types of leukocytes, phagocytes and lymphocytes. Phagocytes surround and eat intruders. Lymphocytes help our body to remember the invader and recognize it immediately if it comes back, which will make it easier for the body to react if it is attacked by the same invader a second time. How does an immune reaction work? In order for your body to react to invaders, it first has to be able to distinguish invaders from our own body cells. It does it by looking at the proteins on the outside of a cell. The immune system learns to ignore its own protein so it doesn't attack its own body cells. When the immune system recognizes an antigen, a chain of reaction from different cells takes place. B lymphocytes are the ones recognizing the antigen and will start producing antibodies. Antibodies are proteins that lock onto specific proteins of the antigen. It fits like a little puzzle piece and it sticks to the invader. These antibodies serve as a marker for the immune system to know which cells need to be destroyed. Subsequently, phagocytes will come to actually destroy the invaders. T lymphocytes have a different role. The helper T lymphocytes coordinate the immune response. They communicate with other cells, stimulate B lymphocytes to make more antibodies and attract more T cells or phagocytes to destroy the intruders. The killer T lymphocytes attack other cells. These are very important in attacking viruses. They recognize small parts of the virus on the outside of infected cells and destroy the infected cell. What did we learn today? We learned about the immune system. It protects us from intruders that can be bacteria or viruses or parasites, but also from our own cells if they start malfunctioning. Its front line are the white cells. They can be lymphocytes, and among the lymphocytes we can have T that coordinates the immune response, or B that checks our cells to see if they are actually intruders. The lymphocytes also recognize intruders if they come back. Other type of white cells are phagocytes. 
that eat and destroy the intruders. So that was really interesting. We hope you learned as much as we did. And that was all for today. So hopefully see you next time. Bye. Bye bye.